Hi guys, Robbo46 here, welcome yourselves back to Monster Energy Supercross 2 on the Xbox One X. Today we're going to be starting career mode, but first we've got a hell of a lot of um, customization to get through, starting with our rider. So we've done the name, and you can uh, choose your nickname, and then you can choose the style or the font, you can choose the colour, you can choose the um, the actual size of the, the logo as well, you can move it about a little bit. So that is nice to see. Nice little customization option there. Would be nice to have that in MotoGP. There is also um, a rider height you can adjust. So you can adjust the height of your rider. Now you can't actually go to extremes and have like a midget or a uh, giant. But it is a nice little touch. Again, something I'd like to see in, in the next MotoGP game. The numbers as well. It is nice that they've actually... The ones that are greyed out that you can't have. It actually tells you the name of the rider that has them or has used them. Um, so you can't actually use them yourself but again you can uh, choose the font color size and all that stuff with your actual um, number as well which is nice other customization also includes um, obviously your location and uh, you can do your face um, some of them look better than others some of them look like they're made out of clay a little bit but then you get your hairstyle with the face you can't actually change your hairstyle itself uh, but you can uh, do it with the uh, the actual face. Different faces have the different hairstyles. Obviously, choose your colours and that. You can choose your eye colour. Um, if you go for facial hair, you can choose that colour as well. So just some little nice um, adjustments. There's like sunglasses and hats you can wear. But I haven't got enough money to be able to afford any of that anyway. Then you get onto your kit for your actual rider. And... Um, yeah, you can't actually uh, buy a lot of stuff to begin with. Um, you've got, um, obviously, your helmets, goggles, gloves, suit, um, and stuff like that. And um, you have, like, one of each, obviously, unlocked from the beginning. Because it would be a bit silly if you started riding and you had no gear. But, um, yeah, we're just going to have to try and save up some money to be able to do it and uh, buy some new stuff but like I said it's quite expensive to begin with so can't really buy anything at this time but just showing you guys what is available and there is a lot of um, different brands available and uh, within those brands are uh, uh, quite a few different uh, selections that you can choose and that goes for pretty much everything in the game so it is nice to see that level of customization again it would be nice to have that level of customization on MotoGP so with the next MotoGP game, um, being able to customize the levers a bit more and um, have more variety of helmets, more brands and stuff. So same with the bike, there is a lot of stuff to do with the bike, um, like exhaust and everything and a lot to customize. And again, would be nice to have it in the next MotoGP game. Obviously, I know that the bikes are completely different. So um, obviously some of the stuff wouldn't be able to be in there, but yeah, there is a lot that could be. And um, yeah, it would be nice if they could concentrate a bit more with the MotoGP series and uh, do more in-depth customization. Because I was actually pleasantly surprised about the amount of customization with this game. Okay, now it's time to actually start the career mode. So we've got our rider and our bike all sorted out. So let's get on with it. So we get to choose... Um, yeah, it's okay. Say welcome to career mode. So we can't actually start the 450 as grayed out. Um, so I'm assuming we can't actually start on the 450. So we have to do either 250 east or 250 west. I think I'll go for 250 east. Okay, we get to pick a sponsor as well. So we'll have a look to see what sponsors we uh, get the choice of. Okay, obviously getting fame uh, increases the, the number of sponsors. That's a good name, Nut Up. I think I'll go for that one just because of the name, Nut Up. So that will be our sponsor for the season. Well, part of the season. Depending on how we do, we may get a choice of others further down the line. So we've got to finish at least 15th in the race to hit our uh, sponsor bonus. Okay, so we get to uh, look at our week schedule. And we can actually change some of the free days. So, okay, you can do training, rider challenge, photo, or 
Okay. So yeah. Promotional date or media date. That's pretty cool. So I think we'll start off with training, then we got a rest date, and then we can do promotional day. And what's what's that bonus day? Oh, okay. So you can repeat one of the things uh, that you've already picked. So I think we'll do media this time. Meet the fans. And then we go on to the actual first race. So that is the week all set up, ready to go. That's fine. So, yeah, we will be doing training as our first um, activity in career mode. Uh, just going to double check the settings and change them. Yeah, the AI's on uh, bloody very easy. We'll want that on realistic, that on advance. Manual, manual, off. And that is the blue line, so that's off as well. Okay, so I think we are ready to start training. Oh, okay, so you've got different training options to do. Landing, lean, scrub, reflexes. Obviously, the better you do, the more XP you get. So and you've got like a little skill tree as well, so that's pretty cool. Again, it would be nice to have something like that in MotoGP. So here we go for training. So we've got to, yeah, make sure we don't fall. Do it within the time limit. We've basically got to go through the gates then in uh, the allotted time. Oh, hello, here we go. Oh, well, completely missed the first one. Got the second and the third third but that wasn't very good well we failed that because uh, we didn't reach the minimum score so you get five attempts at a training um, schedule by the looks of it so let's try again let's see what we can do try and get all three this time oh well that's uh, buggered our time up anyway but I think we got two stars yeah we got two right let's aim for three Obviously, the more stars you get, the uh, the more of an effect it will actually have on your rider. So let's try this again. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I think that was close. I don't know if we got it or not. Yes, we did. So we got three stars. Okay. That's good. We got our three stars for training. So that is training done for this week. So what was the next one? Was the next one promotional day it was? It's okay. So start promotional day. Oh, okay. So you actually get a little cutscene. Again, would be nice of them to add something like this in MotoGP. I know that uh, when we had... Um, managerial career and stuff like that you could kind of schedule the week um, for the training and that but you didn't actually get any cutscenes or anything but it's quite a nice little addition even if they are very short but yeah so okay we're ready to start the race then ready to go to race weekend see how it goes the long off season is over you no longer have to dream of winning it's time to earn that trip to the top step of the podium. Hi everybody, welcome to a new season for the 250 class of Monster Energy, AMA Supercross, and FIM World Championship. The riders are ready to take to the track for the first race of the year. Okay, a lot of fireworks going on. You get your own little entrance. As he enters the stadium. That has to pump him up as he goes for the win here tonight. Wait, am I not doing qualifying? Are we going straight into the race? We're going straight into the race. That is not a good thing because I have no idea um, about any of the tracks. I don't know any of the tracks in this game. Um, wow, okay. We're going straight into a race on a track I've never been on before. This could be interesting. Here we go. That was an okay start, actually. 
that was an okay start, but well, we're momentarily led. Oh, oh, well, wow, okay. Well, we got the whole shot then, but we just got absolutely mullered on the jumps, and uh, we ended up crashing. Get out the way, please. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. There's bloody barriers. Alright, we're making a few places up. So we are inside the top ten at the moment. That's fine, considering we've had a crash as well. Come on, come on. Yeah, we're making places up. Up to sixth. Can we get fifth? Oh, we've got a tight corner coming up. Bit of a straight. And then, oh, another tight corner. Yeah, wow, okay. Come on, get your shit together, Robbo. Bouncing all over the place. Kind of worked though. We got up to fourth. Uh, I'll try not to ground out as well. That almost went horribly wrong. Staying in fourth for now. Oh, that didn't go well. Completely messed that one up. Oh shit! Wow. Yeah, wow, this is not going well. I keep landing on top of the jumps. Come on. That's better. And then we're going into the bloody barriers. Yeah, that was good. We're still in fifth. That's fine. How many laps we got to do? Oh, hang on, there's a timer going down first. Okay. Main event time, we've got just over a minute left. Then what happens? We'll find out soon, won't we? We're battling at the moment, so we made it back up to fifth. There's fourth. We can pretty much see a podium position at the moment. Oh, God's sake. Oh. No, 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 no. Haven't even got to any opportunity to do a scrub because when I try and line myself up, then uh, yeah, I don't really get much of a good run up. I haven't really seen any of their AI do any scrubs either, to be fair. Come on, let's... we're in the fourth. We're back up the fourth. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, fourth place at the moment. There's third, there's second. I don't know where the hell the leader is, but uh, I can see second place. Okay, main event time is gone. Oh, okay, we've got two laps to go. So once the timer goes down, you've got a certain number of laps left to go. So two laps left to go. Let's see if we can hold on to fourth or maybe even push for third place. Come on. It's this bit. Cannot nail this bit, and that's lost us a place. Wow, no. Oh, it's going wrong now. It's really going wrong. You get one jump wrong. Oh, that was better. Back up to fifth. You get one jump wrong, and you pretty much screw your whole section up. Wow, okay. Now we're plummeting. Down to seventh place. Now I'm outside the bloody track. Stay inside. Right, let's get the place back and get back up to sixth if we can. Oh, there we go. Sixth place. Can we make the turn? We can. And we've lost it again. Trying to get used to bloody the uh, moving the weight and the body position and that to try and get over the jumps nicely, but not happening at the moment. Eighth place. Still inside the top ten. Our goal was fifteenth. Set by our sponsor. I hate this bit. I'm trying to lean back to get the rear wheel go over the bumps but not happening wow okay almost crashed it what that's yeah gone horribly wrong now it's gone really wrong now shit we're on the final lap as well oh well, yeah <laughs> this has gone horribly wrong so quickly i don't even know what what place we're in the finish is there no idea what position we finished in but that went completely tits up right at the end where did we finish? Not inside the top. We finished 15th. Well, at least we hit our goal. But that was horrendous right at the end there.
That was definitely not the type of performance he was hoping for. It started off really well as well. We got the whole shot. We got taken out. We managed to get back up to fourth. Got into third for a moment. That is not good. Right. So, race one did not go to plan, so we've got to plan another week. We've got three rest days this time, so let's do um, let's do training again, and then our bonus day. I think we might do a challenge. Okay, let's see how we go with this. Yeah, that's fine. So training, what shall we do this time? So we managed a three-star. One of them. Okay, so you can actually change your weekend because I want to do qualifying so that I can kind of learn the tracks as well because we kind of threw ourselves into the really deep end, the shark infested deep end last time. So, yeah, okay, so we put it on. So we're doing qualifying now and then we will do the race itself. Training, right, so we have done lean. Um, should we do landing? I think we could uh, do with that. So landing. So we've got to land in the designated target area. Okay. Again, five attempts at this. Where are we jumping? Oh, here I'm guessing. Oh, wow, okay. Wasn't going quick enough. There's one attempt already ruined. So we're going to have to restart that. So that's one attempt out of five done. We didn't even land on the target. So I kind of guess from the colour-coded areas, wherever you land, that's the uh, star rate you're going to get. Oh, in the red. So that's one star. Okay, so that's two attempts. At least we've got one star at the moment. We're going to keep going, see if we can get that three stars. Oh, so angle ourselves a bit better. Oh no, too short. Too short. Well, we just as well restart, aren't we? So on to the next attempt. Come on. We're going to have one attempt left after this. Right, here we go. This was better. This was better. Oh, red again, really? Wow, okay. So we got our final attempt left to go. Uh, final attempt. Come on. Go for those three stars. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. That was a better angle. Oh, I swear we landed in the middle there. But that gave us yellow, which is two stars. We're not going to be able to re-attempt that. Okay. So, two stars on that one. Now we got a challenge. So... Let's see what this one is all about. Um, can we actually upgrade our bike? We don't want to purchase a new bike, that's for sure. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted to do. Press the wrong button. Okay, so components... says we haven't really got a lot of credits. I thought we got quite a bit from that first race. So we still can't actually afford anything. Everything is too expensive, even the brakes and the rear sprocket. Okay, well, we can't actually upgrade the bike yet. That's a bit of a pain. Right, okay. Right, so we get to choose a rival... And if we beat their lap time, then it lowers their rivalry percentage. See, there's a guy there with 100%. He really doesn't like me. I think we'll go with a 75% rival. Okay, so it's told us lap time 124.4. So we're going to beat that lap time. Now, I don't know how easy or hard this is going to be. Again, it's going to be another track I do not know. I'm assuming this is just a made up track, like a cornfield by the looks of it. So if you get hungry, just stick your hand out, grab some corn, and have a munch. 
that's going to be quite difficult with a helmet on. You don't really want to be raw corn. That wouldn't be nice. Anyway, so 124 forward to B, and we've got three laps to try and do it in. Wow, that, that feels like it's not been a good start. Oh, there's a bridge. Through we go. Okay. Where's the track going? This way. Oh, shit. No, that's not the right way. That is not the right way. Back at... Oh, fuck's sake. Wow. Okay. Gonna have to look at the mini-map a little bit as well. Not a good landing. Okay, well, our time isn't really looking that impressive at the moment and we went wrong as well we got lost this i know for the next lap where i'm going yeah well i don't think we're going to do it on this lap another oh come on land it there we go another tight corner oh that was fine over that bit Yeah, we've gone over the time limit. How much by though? Wow, okay. Come on. Oh no, that's not what I want to be doing. Ground out there. Bugger. I can't really restart the lap either because otherwise that will get rid of one lap and we'll just have one left so I'm going to have to just do the best I can. Hey! What was wrong with that? Really? Was I really cutting the corner that much? Right, okay. Well, this, this lap is completely scrapped. Oh, shit, yeah. I managed to hold it, but... Not good. Not a good lap. This is probably going to be worse than my first one when I got lost. Yeah, this this lap's gone horribly wrong. Kind of, kind of make up for it and just making more mistakes. Oh, that wasn't a good landing. Almost straight into the cornfield. Turn. What? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. This has really been a crap lap. Not good. Not good at all. And the worrying thing is, we've got one lap left to go. Come on. Right, let's try and do this this time. Don't crash. Don't ground out. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh, I hit my rut. I hit the rut that I made and... Oh, yeah, we're not going to do it on this one either, I don't think. Amazing. So I went in the rut that I made. But yeah. This is just annoying now. So you can't literally go off track at all. Um, otherwise it respawns you back on track. Yeah, made that rut when it respawned me. It just went in it. It wasn't counting down to respawn me. And then I bloody crashed. Not good. So I did, we're not going to do this, unfortunately. So our rivalry with this guy will not drop. Fine. Just have to try and beat him on track instead, won't I? Yeah. It's over. Nowhere near the lap time. Okay. Well, that was a waste of time celebration for no reason but at least I press the right button this time there we go not good not good at all 
Nowhere near at 1.32.5 was my best time. Oh, what? Took that down by 25%, really? Okay. Right. Go on to the next event, and with qualifying. So, qualifying did not go well. Dead last. I was four seconds behind. Right, let's just go straight to the race. I'm not going to show you guys qualifying because it's a waste of time. Here we go. Good start. Good initial start. But I'm going to try and switch to the inside. Come on. Oh. Oh, sideways. Come on. Get it together. Get it together. We're leading. We are leading an event. Now we're not. We led momentarily. This bit, it seems, I don't know what this stuff is meant to be, whether it's sand or, I don't know, but it's really, really soft and uh, you can't take much speed through there. A lot of wet mud around. There's a corner I keep bloody bottom out on. And when we get to it, I'll let you guys know because it's been annoying me and it was like the bane of my life throughout qualifying. Get the angle wrong and your rider just comes off because it bottoms out. This bit's annoying as well. I seem to have trouble with these things, trying to lean back into it. But it's not having it. This landing here, that was fine. The amount of times I've ground out on that and just come off. We're on to a little straight bit where we can uh, actually get some speed up. Very slidey in the wet mud. But well, that's good. So we're actually staying in second for the moment. I just want to beat 15th place. We need to uh, kind of get going. Hit the barriers there. Into this weird sandy stuff. Don't know why, but it reminds me of clay. I'm trying to use the uh, the banking of the outside of the corners a bit more to uh, take a bit more speed. So I weren't actually doing that in qualifying, so I think that's where I was losing a bit of time. This corner is a pain in the ass. I can still see the leader, so not too bad at them. Come on, just just get through this part without flipping all over the place. Okay, well we're not that far ahead of the guy behind. I do like the way it like flicks mud at the camera. Completely cop that up. You can still see the leader though. I think are we actually gaining on him a little bit? Could it just be the camera there in the, the corner to this weird part. And here. That was a good exit. Yes, that was a good landing. Through here. Right, we've got two to go, so the timer has counted down. That wasn't too good. Because for that one, you kind of have to break before you get to that last jump. Otherwise, you just go into the barriers, which is what I spent most of my time in during qualifying. There's third place trying to come through, trying to hold him off if I can. Is he going to land? Oh, he landed on me! You bastard! <laughs> he landed on my head and completely wiped me out. So we are down to third. I did notice in qualifying their bikes are quicker than mine, so we need to hurry up and get some uh, upgrades on the bike. So I think we're definitely struggling with speed. But you know, we're still in third. Just got brutally taken out. There he is. Right, let's try and get him back. So when we finish this lap, we will have one left to go. I swear it's getting worse through that sandy part. Final lap time. Good landing. Come on, come on. I don't think we're going to be able to catch back up to him. Got a little bit too hot again. Yeah, you have to just break before that jump. Otherwise, yeah, you go off track. And it's a bit of a pain. And uh, if you forget to do it, then uh, 
you end up in all kinds of uh, shit. We've lost a place. In a back, in a back, in a back. Not quite. Land, land. Thank you. Here we go. Back up the third. Here we go. Stand in third. Power. I think we might need some better tyres as well. We could do with a bit more grip. Oh no, he's come through again. Someone else is come, trying to come through. Come on, come on, come on. Try and get back, try and get back. Meso's jumps up good and proper and has crashed as well. Oh, come on. Well, the lead has gone across the line by the looks of these flames. Try and get the run out, but I think he's... Oh, almost lost fourth. Fourth place on the second race. Well, that was definitely a lot better than the first race where we got 15th. Wow, what a race. <sighs> Let's take a look at the official results from the main event. And who won KTM in the top 12? He, he did, and there's tonight, someone right in the way of that soul. camera. A couple of mistakes. A couple of mistakes. I've let it on a bike land on my head. What did you expect me to do? Well, we've moved up to 10th in the championship, so we got 27 points. Miles behind, but hopefully we can keep improving. And then eventually, hopefully we can have uh, enough money to be able to get some actual upgrades for the bike, which would be a great help. Then we can start improving and hopefully do some celebrations across the finish line. That's the dream. But yeah, Monster Energy Supercross 2 is actually pretty difficult. It is definitely pretty difficult. Uh, the AI... They are pretty much as brutal as normal. And, uh, yeah. Having a bit of fun at the moment. So hopefully, like I said, we can improve next time. But fourth place, 15th and a fourth. At least I can now do actual qualifying. Not that it mattered for the last race because uh, we were last anyway. But never mind, ending in fourth. So that's a bit of a positive to end in. Just need to sort my uh, body position and out and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And just see you guys in the next video. See you.